Hey there friends. Today I want to show you a really quick tutorial video on how to reset this RS uh, surfboard uh, modem router combination. You can see there is my model number uh, down there, but this is going to work very similar for any models uh, of the RS surfboards. Okay, so we're on uh, my computer, my laptop now, and I'm going to go ahead and log into the admin portion of the router. And to do that, uh, we first need to make sure we connect to the router's Wi-Fi. So I'm going to come up here, and this is the name of my specific uh, Wi-Fi router. And it requires a password. This is a good reason why you should always keep the original paperwork that came with your your modem. I'm going to type in the password that uh, came with ours here. And again, this is the default password. Okay, and that's going to connect as you can see. All right, and we've connected. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need to open up a Chrome uh, or other web application browser. So let me open up Chrome here. In order to get to the RS uh, admin software, this is basically the user interface, uh, you have to do a couple things. And again, you don't have to have the internet to do this. You just have to have that Wi-Fi enabled on your device. And so, uh, and I'm, basically what I'm using here is my Chrome uh, web browser, but this will work with any of the other web browsers that you might be using. Uh, you might be using Safari or Internet Explorer or Firefox, any one of those. I'm using Google Chrome. And uh, basically what you need to do is you need to go to the router uh, admin IP address that you can see up here. So basically you're just going to come up to your browser, type in 192.168.0.1, hit enter and you can see that'll recycle, and that will pull up this specific admin page. Now from here, the uh, username and admin password are gonna be the, the specific default. So username always is gonna be default, admin password default is always gonna be password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. As you can see, that is incredibly unsecure. So if you're doing this for the first time and are gonna change this, please make sure you change that to something that's more secure, more personal. I'm gonna hit enter and we are going to log in here. Okay, now that we are in the system basic setup uh, in the interface, you can see there's a ton of different options. And if we look down here, we can actually see that uh, because we did a hard reset to bring these back to default settings, the both the network name and the Wi-Fi security key have reset to the defaults. Now, if you want to set these up to something that is going to be very personal to you and have uh, good encryption, this is where you're gonna be doing it. So you can come in here and you can actually change this to whichever network name you want. Again, I highly suggest this isn't something personal that would allow people outside of your home to recognize that this is your specific router. And you could just put something like my network if you wanted to or anything like that. Again, something very generic or something that's personal that other people wouldn't link to you is what, uh, what we highly recommend. Uh, next, you're gonna come up here with your Wi-Fi security key and you're gonna type in something again that has uh, we, we suggest symbols, capital letters, lowercase letters, something that's at least eight to 10 uh, digits in length. Uh, obviously do not do this one, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be a terrible password, but you can also do uh, some symbols and those kind of things as well. Remember to write this down because it's gonna be very important to remember this is not gonna be on your original paperwork. So make sure you write this down somewhere as you're changing these. Now, if you'd like to set up your five gigahertz network, you can actually do the same thing down here in this area. Okay, once we have all those inputted, click the apply button and you will see your router actually reboot. And that just means that, that it is applying the new settings and you should be able to, once it reboots, come up into your network list, pull that down and you should now see the network name that you gave your network. So in this case, it would have been my network. 
Your computer will prompt you to input this password, and after that, you should be connected. All right, friends, I hope that was easy to follow. Uh, again, it's uh, fairly simple to do once you know how to do it. Make sure you write down those passwords, write down those network names so you don't forget them, and hit the subscribe button. we got a lot more tutorial videos that are coming up real soon.